verse 32 and verse 33, and then we'll be going to the book of Job. Fill you up the measure of your fathers, you serpents, you generation of vipers. How can you escape the damnation of hell? How can you escape the damnation of hell? Let's go to Job chapter 31. I made a covenant with mine eyes. Why then should I think upon a maid? For what portion of God is there from above? And what inheritance of the Almighty from on high? Is not destruction to the wicked and a strange punishment of iniquity? Doth not he see my ways and count all my steps? If I have walked with vanity... Or if my foot has hastened to deceit, let me be weighed in an even balance that God may know mine integrity. If my steps have turned out of the way and my heart has walked after mine eyes, and if any blot has cleaved to my hand, then... Let me sow and another reap. Yea, let my offspring be rooted out. If my heart have been deceived by a woman, or if I have laid wait at my neighbor's door. Verse 24. If I have made gold my hope, or have said to find gold, thou art my confidence. If I rejoice because my wealth was great and because my hand had gotten much, if I beheld the sun when it shined or the moon walking in brightness and my heart has been secretly enticed or my mouth has kissed my hand. Let's pray. Dear God, tonight we come before you in behalf of this service. We pray, dear God, that you'll come in a special way in this meeting. You will deal with us. Oh, God, you will help us. You will meet the needs of this congregation. We present this service in your hand. Dear God, would you see fit in a special way to deal with us this last night of this camp meeting at Broxton, Georgia. Calvary Holiness Camp Meeting. We'd ask you, dear God, the boy from the mountain, would you help me? Would you help me, dear God? Would you help me? Oh, God, you for it. Jesus' name, amen. 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 Probably some of the finest writings that Job has have for us is in the concluding words that he has to speak in his defense. He makes sure that everybody understands that he is righteous and his hands are clean and he has and he is walking in his integrity. The things that he says here that he wants to make sure that you understand that his heart is right with God. He wants to make sure that, that we understand that all of his afflictions and all of his trouble, his heart is right with God. Amen. Thank God. Amen. And uh, he makes a statement. And uh, he said, uh, If I beheld the sun when it shined, or the moon walking in brightness, and my heart has been secretly enticed, or my mouth has kissed my hand. Amen. The Job understood the practice of the uh, those idolaters that... When they go out at night, they look up to the moon and they blow kisses at the moon. And just, during the day, they would look and do homage and worship the sun. Job watched them and he said, He said, My hand, I have not kissed my hand and blowed kisses at the sun or the moon. Thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. Stay with me just a little bit here. Amen. 
One of the men that translated uh, the Scriptures, he come to this verse, and he said, If the bright lights have stolen my heart. If the bright lights have stolen my heart. Amen. Amen. You know, there's a whole lot in this world that reaches for our heart. There's many bright lights that entice us and draw us. This world is filled with so many things and alluring things that it seems as though seem like our hearts are being drawn away from God. Amen. Probably the most dangerous time for people to live as far as living in an age of society that we can backslide. We do not preach backsliding, but God's Bible has warned us about backsliding because of possibility. A backslider is filled in heart, is, is filled with his own ways. Amen. It means that he is not happy. It's an impossibility for him to be happy. Amen. Amen. We're surrounded by a world that's alluring us. Amen. Evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Amen. The Bible tells us that Absalom stole the hearts of the men of Israel. Amen. Thank God. Amen. To be able to escape these penetrating forces that are seen like so bent. Amen. On drawing our hearts away from God. Amen. It seems that there's in a power that is pulling our strings of our heart. Amen. Until that we are not worshiping God like God wants us to. Amen. It seems as our heart is divided in this last day. Amen. Oh, to be able to resist the powers that are so alluring and so seducing in this hour, drawing our hearts. To be able to look around at this world and say, Take this whole world, but give me Jesus. I won't turn back. I won't turn back. Hallelujah. Amen. To look at all the gold in the world and say, Amen. My heart has not been but deceived by this world. Amen. Amen. I still have my heart. Amen. To guard our senses and to understand. Amen. It would be an easy thing to lose our heart. Amen. It would be an easy thing for us to be seduced in this hour. Amen. It would be hard for me here for a few minutes to resist taking a long time to preach to you, and I don't want to do that. Amen. I've got two or three reasons for that. Number one, we've been here a week, and it's time that we get this concluding service in. Amen. Another thing, I've been, this is the third straight week of camp meeting. Amen. Day and night and day and night. And I'm saturated with camp meeting. Thank God. And another thing, I've got my car parked in a different spot tonight. Amen. It is headed out. Amen. To go out that gate after a while. And so I want to preach to you as best that I can. It been about the deepest need that I know of in this hour. It been the Bible heart all diligent. For out of it are the issues of life, my God. It been, thank God. It been, the Bible said, set your affections on things above and not on things of the earth. Hey, man. Hallelujah. Hey, man. Great God. Hey, man. Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 26. My son, give me thine heart and let thine eyes observe my ways. For a whore is a deep ditch and a strange woman is a narrow pit. Hey, man. She also lieth in wait as far a prey. And increase the transgressors among men. Hey, man, my God, the, the wisest thing we ever did in our life is to give our heart to God. Hey, man, thank God. Hey, man, to surrender our affections to God Almighty promptly and cheerfully and entire and perpetually unreserved, gratefully and believing that it is possible. Thank God. God, it been to give our love to God Almighty. Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen. Thank God. Search me, O God, 
and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any wicked way in me. Amen. The Bible tells us, Amen, that Solomon had 700 wise and princes and 300 concubines. And the Bible said when he was old, they turned his heart from him, from the Lord. Amen. When he was old, Amen. Bible scholars tell me when he said that, he was 58 years old. Amen. Now, I'm 53, and I don't count that as old. Amen. But what was happening to our sin had made him old at 58. Amen. I'll tell you something. In this day and time, people's heart that's turned away from God, brother, are old at 21. Amen. They're old at 15. And a lot of them are old at 12. Thank God to be young at heart, to have a heart for God. Amen. In the, it seems as though in this generation, amen, there's a lot of people that does not have a heart for God. Amen. They can come to the altar and pray and cry amen, and get up and leave. Amen. They do not have a heart for God. Amen. God does not possess their heart. They do not give their heart to God. The world steals their heart. Amen. The world seduces their heart. And they lose the very being that they are. Amen. The very center of their being. They lose their heart. My God, what a shape to be in to lose your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Amen. When you look around and you understand what's affecting you. Amen. Until your mind is not right. Amen. Until your will, amen, is not right. Amen. Until your affections are perverted. Amen. Until your heart is divided. Amen. Hallelujah. Great Lord. Hallelujah. Will you help me preach this? Amen. Sin and this is a having a profound effect. Amen. Upon this world. Amen. And sin in this hour is having a profound effect upon the church, Brother Denver. Amen. And sin in this hour is having a profound effect upon me and you. Amen. Amen. Drawing our hearts away from God. Amen. Drawing our souls away from the eternal God. Amen. We have lost the sight of the eternal for the temporal. Amen. The glitter of this world. Amen. Especially this young generation. Amen. Seems that they cannot see. Amen. That there is an eternal, everlasting, almighty God. And we are an eternal soul. Amen. Great God will live and live and live and never die, either in heaven or in hell. Amen. We must gain the eternal bless or we shall suffer the eternal doom. Can you say amen? Great God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 How many heard Brother Thompson preach? Amen. About the condition of this last age. Amen. My Lord, why is our heart so little affected by the signs that we see? Amen. We're the people that saw and have been affected by more Bible prophecy being fulfilled. Amen. It looked like all the rest of the church age since the time of Christ. More prophecy has been fulfilled in your lifetime, Brother Edward Day. Amen. And all the forefathers before us. Amen. Since the day of Pentecost. Can you say amen? And yet it is having no effect on us. Yet it is having no effect on us. We're going our very way like we always have. It is not driving us to our knees. It is not driving us, stay man, out in the world to reach the laws, causing us, stay man, to give everything for God. And yet, in our minds, we know it's the last day, but there's something about our action. We're losing our hearts. The devil's still in our hearts. Amen. My God. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, God. Oh, God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. My Lord. My God. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God. Hallelujah. 
I'm in turmoil inside tonight. Amen. I'm in turmoil. Amen. I want to tell you something. After I got through last night, I was as tired as, as you can get after preaching. But I'm going to tell you something about Brother Harold. Rest is gone from this boy. Amen. I'll have to change states, I believe, before I can get some rest now. Amen. There's something weighty about what God's been trying to do for us this week. There's something awful eternal about it. Amen. It's not because I'm preaching. It's because God. Amen. Amen. Sometimes I, I think about prophecy, and we, we have a lot of great prophecy preachers, and I appreciate them and their study of prophecy. Thank God for me. And, amen. They will study prophecy and study history. Amen. Spend their money on good books to buy us scholars and study them. Stay up night after night. Amen. For the events. But there's something about they cannot understand the fullness of the prophecy until the circumstances of the time cast light upon that prophecy. But folks, amen, the light is being shined now upon the prophecies all around us. And yet we're not seeing it. And yet it's not affecting us. My God! Amen. Help me here. Help me. I'm going to hurry as fast as I possibly can. Amen. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Master, which is the great commandment in the law? And Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love. Amen. Thou shalt love. Amen. Thou shalt love. Amen. Will you help me preach now? Thou shalt love. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy strength. Amen. Thou shalt love. Great Lord, to be able to love God with all your heart, to love Him with all your soul, and love Him with all your strength. God desires your love. God desires your love tonight. Amen. God is reaching for our love. Hallelujah. Oh, great God. Amen. To love God. Amen. Amen. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Amen. It's with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. Amen. It's with that heart, brother. Where your treasures is, there is your heart. Amen. We must have our heart in it. God must possess us all. Amen. But if we do not love God with all of our heart, amen, to this last day, amen, my God, we are in a terrible shape for this last onslaught of evil around us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Some people's heart have been stolen by sports. You going to help me now? Amen. Amen. Some of our hearts have been stolen by money. Amen. Some of it, just by the fashion of this world, our hearts have been stolen. Amen. I think it's my, my, as cruel a thing as I can think of is somebody to seduce another man's wife and steal her heart from her husband. But this world and the devil, hey man, is seducing your heart, sinner friend. Hey man, the devil desires to have you. Hey man, such an age. Hey man, you could take your time here now. Quite a few of you preachers could preach on, hey man, devil worship in this last day. Hey man, I've read in some cities where they talk about it, it's a number one problem. And some of the major cities now is demonology and worship of Satan. My God, hey man, Go, oh, Lord, seducing spirits. It may look like the spirits out of hell. It may have come with such great force. Oh, Lord, it may children don't love their mother like they used to. It may they don't love their dad. And I'll tell you something, Dad, don't look like you love your children like you used to. It may, my God, it may and look like brethren, and we can't love one another just like heaven wants us to love. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. To own your heart, to have your heart, to possess your heart. Amen. To be able to love, Brother Mark. To be able to love without anything between us. Amen. My God is one of the greatest blessings that you can have. Amen. To have your heart. To love God. Oh, hallelujah. To 
love God, to worship God. Amen. To be able to worship God with a whole heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Browning said, Open my heart, and you will find written in it, Italy. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. The poet said, Open my heart, and you will find written in it, Italy. Amen. Byrne said, My heart is in the highlands. My heart is not here. Amen. Where's your heart tonight? Amen. Is your heart in the world? Amen. Where is your heart tonight? Amen. Where is your heart? Mark Anthony's lines, where is this? My heart is in the coffin there with Caesar. Then I must pause until it come back. Amen. I'll tell you, the world's got your heart. Amen. The devil has got your heart. Amen. The devil has got your heart. You listening to me? The devil, the devil has got your heart, sinner friend. Amen. Great Lord. Oh, would you lift your hand right now and pray that God would move on the scene of this service tonight. Holy, holy. Help me just a little bit more, church. Help me just a little more. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Amen. I'm glad, amen, to be able to possess my heart, to love my wife completely and wholesomely. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Are you listening to me? Amen. Amen. Over there is Brother Junior Johnson and his wife. Brother Junior, I am my beloved, and my beloved is mine. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Amen. And I can turn toward heaven tonight and say, I am my beloved, and my beloved is mine. It because not stolen my heart. Amen. But God has purified my heart. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Amen. He has washed my heart. With pure water, thank God. Amen. Thank God. He has sprinkled my flesh. Amen. And give me a clean heart. Thank God for that clean heart tonight, church. Oh, for that clean heart. There's no adultery in that heart. There's no fornication in that heart. There's no sin in that heart. But my heart's clean. My heart's pure. Oh, to have a pure heart. Worship the Lord. Lincoln said, Ann Rutledge, when she died, he said, You have buried my heart. Hey, man, you have buried my heart. Hey, man, thank God. I'm glad my heart, brother, hey, man, is with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Bible said in Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 17, That Christ may dwell in our hearts by faith, that we be rooted and grounded in love. Glory! Christ tonight is dwelling in my heart. Christ tonight. Oh, glory! Oh, glory! Christ is dwelling in my heart tonight. I'm rooted and grounded. Hallelujah! In love tonight. Oh, glory! I want to tell you something. You're going to have to help me get on over top of this. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. My heart. Amen. Y'all sing this song down here. Joy is the flag flown from the castle of my heart, for the king is in residence there. Amen. I'm glad that the king lives in my heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Jesus Christ dwells in my heart. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ dwells within my heart. Amen. Thank God. Heaven and hell are contending for our heart tonight. Amen. 
I can see I'm going to get bogged down there. Amen. Stay there too long. Thank God. Amen. Well, glory. Amen. Fear ye up the measure of your fathers, ye serpents, ye generation of vipers. How can ye escape the damnation of hell? Amen. This is the king's last farewell. Amen. To the people of his nation. It is called the king's woes. Amen. It's called the last farewell that he has to speak to his blood nation. Amen. He says, how shall ye escape the damnation of hell? Amen. He says, there is no hope for you now. Amen. You have spurned it all. Amen. Because now, Amen. How shall you escape the damnation of hell? What he is literally saying is, what will it take or can anything be done to soften your heart? You have rebelled so with your heart. Amen. That my words have not touched you. My love that I had for you. Well, glory. Amen. Oh! Oh! My God! My God! Amen. To have Jesus turn and look at you and say, There's nothing else that will ever soften your heart. Amen. There's nothing else can be done to your heart. You've passed it all love. Amen. Love will have no effect upon you now. My words, amen. The Spirit will have no effect upon you. Your heart has got too hard. My God, you've allowed your heart to get hard. Amen. Your heart, amen, has been removed from me. You have given your heart to the world. You have prayed your heart, amen, to the devil. And now, my God, you're a backslider, amen, and you're filled with backsliding ways, amen, because you didn't love God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Oh, heaven come down in a mighty way and help us here tonight. Oh, oh Lord, He that being often reproved and hardeneth his neck shall suddenly be destroyed and that without remedy. Amen. You like to boast of how stubborn you are. Amen. That's what he said. You're like a stubborn ox. I can't turn your neck. Your neck is got. Now you have become so uh, a case hardened. You become so hard, hey, man, that I cannot draw your neck. Hey, man, you will not turn from the path that you're on. Hey, man, when the, a beast becomes so hard that uh, the owner cannot use him anymore, he will not obey orders. Then he must be destroyed. Oh. Hey, man, we're in danger tonight. You're in danger of hardening your heart. You're in danger of hardening your neck. Hey, man, stiffening your will. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Hey, man, my trouble is tonight, I feel like maybe it might be my last time ever, ever preaching to you again. Hey, man, that's my trouble tonight. And I'm wanting to preach everything. Hey, man, say everything that I possibly can. Hey, man. Hey, man. Oh! Hey, man, to look back at this beautiful congregation. Hey, man. And to sit among good people that we have sat among this week. Hey, man, some of the best people that ever walked on the face of the earth are walking among us. You listening to me? Hey, man. Great God, God's church is pure. we got some of the best men that love God. I mean, they love Him deeply. Amen. Amen. You say, wait till they tried. Yeah, you just wait. They've already been tried. Amen. They've been tried every day. And their hearts still bright. And pray before God. Amen. They're willing to lay down their lives. Amen. They're willing to give their back and their necks. You see, because they love God. They love God. Amen. Christ dwells within our heart. They love God. Amen. That's much as any people ever loved Him, we love Him. Don't we, church? We love God. Oh, how we love God. Yes, we love you, Jesus. We want you not, heaven, that we love you. Worship the Lord that I, church, worship.
worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost saith, today, if you will hear His voice, harden not your heart. Amen. As in the provocation. Amen. Amen. Don't let your heart get hard. Amen. Because they are hard against you. Amen. But keep your heart soft. Amen. Job said, Lord, you have made my heart soft. Thank God for God making our heart soft. Amen. Thank God keeping our heart tender for this last day. Amen. Amen. We could have the greatest meeting of all time. This could be the beginning of a revival. Amen. If our hearts will be soft and right before God. Woo! Oh, oh, glory. Well, glory. Well, glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. Worship the Lord. There's something in the, in the air here tonight. Take heed, brethren, lest there be any of you of an evil heart, of unbelief, and departing from the living God, but exhorting one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you should be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Brother Herschel, help me to keep this soft heart. Brother Herschel, help the brother yeah. at Calvary Holiness to keep that soft heart. I, yeah. <laughs> brother, let's, let's exhort one another while it's today. And let us cause each of us, brother, solely to keep that soft tender, loving heart. Let us love one another as never before. Let brother love continue. Let there be no division. Let there be no separation. Amen. Take those words of envy and those words of strife and bury them in all their prayer. Hallelujah. Let the Spirit of God come upon us that the loving heart of God would be in our heart that the Spirit of God would keep our hearts safe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Amen. You see, there is a danger of you becoming, in vision 419, who being past feeling, have given themselves over to lasciviousness. And that's where this world's at. Amen. That's where this world's at tonight. Lasciviousness to work all and with greediness, a total hardness of heart, a total harden of emotion, a heart that's incapable of love, a heart that's incapable of ever being touched again. Brother Holmes, hey, man, there are so many of our people that are so incapable now of their heart touched again. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, amen. To allow your heart. Amen. Thank God. This, amen. This has been burning on my heart for days now. For days. 
Amen. People's hearts are being stolen. Their hearts becoming hard. Amen. Losing that ability to love. Losing that ability, amen, for any impression whatsoever to be made upon you. Amen. No amount. Amen. I won't tell you, I like to go to church, brother, where, they, where they've got some hallelujahs, where they've got some amens and glories. And when people don't worship God, you know what's wrong with them. There's a bad state of their heart. They can't worship God because, amen, their heart's in a bad, cold state. Amen. I have somewhat to get you because you have left your first love. Amen. Love is having no effect on you. My God, you've cast off love. Your heart to love now. Amen. Oh, worship the Lord and thank God for that tender heart. Thank God for that loving heart. Thank God for that soft heart. Thank God for that heart. Amen. That you can love God and appreciate your brother. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. God. Oh, you generation of vipers, how shall you escape the damnation of hell? You have lost the power to respond to truth. You have lost the power to respond to beauty of holiness. You have become incapable of ever having deep sorrow in your heart. Godly sorrow worketh repentance. But when you cannot feel one bit of sorrow for your sin, When you do wrong and you feel no wrong, you are Pharaoh. That was the condition of Pharaoh. He was wrong and he knew he was wrong, yet he did not care. So many people are wrong and they know they're wrong, but they have no feeling of sorrow around them. So many people have said in this meeting this week and have not been able to respond to the call of heaven. Amen. They have not been able to respond to the Spirit of God. Amen. Oh, their emotions have been wrung out by television and the sensual devilish world that's out there. And they have no emotions. They run only on passions of lust. Oh, God. Ow! Ow! You're on the brink of hell because your heart is in the state it's in tonight. You'll go to hell because you allowed your heart to be deceived. You allowed sin to deceive your heart. You allowed that ability to love and respond to love. Great God, you love to hate people. And now the law of hate is in your heart. And there's no love there. Therefore, the homes of America is not happy. And there could be no church, brother, with the hearts of men and women so hard. And man, it's such degraded. Oh, my God, there's no sensitivity whatsoever about their nature. Keep thine heart with all diligence. For how of it are the issues of life. Amen. Amen. Oh, oh. Amen. Can anything else be done for you that which has not already been done for you? If you can't be saved in a meeting like this, if you're sitting in this congregation night and you say, God's not dealing with me, you're the one I'm preaching to. 
If you're sitting there tonight and you say, that preaching have no effect on me, you're the person that's most in danger. You that feel your heart quiver right now, you're the person and probably the only person that will respond to the call of heaven because your heart still tender. I want you to watch something. I'll call it your attention just a few moments. I hope you're watching what's going on now. Amen. 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 I have a heart that's hard. Oh! Amen. You don't get in any worse state than that than to have a hard heart and say, Preacher, I can't cry. Amen. And church, we're saying it. Are you listening? I want you to understand something, congregation. Do you understand these preachers' hearts are tender when I preach? It's not that I'm preaching that good. It's their hearts are tender. Hey, man. Hey, man. Do you understand that these children's hearts are very tender? They've been responding to the altar service before we even get into it. Amen. Do you understand that some of you have not responded? Amen. You have considered a lot of things, but the reason most is your heart is hard. Amen. Oh, God. That's the reason why I want to worship God and I go to the house of God. Amen. 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 Now, I'm not saying this derogatory of any sense, and I hope you understand that. And when that brother Montgomery got to preaching this week on the tracks, you can know them by the tracks. I knew quickly before he got to it he was going to get my coffee. Amen. Not that I'm a big coffee drinker, but I knew he was going to get it. Amen. And I said, oh, brother, and he's a coming after me now. He's a coming after me. Amen. But I want to tell you something. Amen. If the preacher preaches and you draw back, you're causing your heart to be hard. Amen. If the preacher preaches, hey man, about your worldliness, and we've named it all this week as far as I know we've got ever named it, have been preached there that we could call. Hey man, if I haven't, somebody else has got it. But if you draw back, your heart gets hard. Hey man, hey man, until after a while you say, hey, that don't affect me. I'm not in under condition. I know your heart has got so hard that the preaching cannot touch it now. Amen. Great Lord. No, it gets so hard. Amen. That an altar service last night. Amen. With the saints of God praying and begging for your soul. It still doesn't touch your heart. It's so hard. Amen. Amen. To see boys put their arms around mother and say, Mama, don't leave home. Stay with us. And Mama will throw those children up and walk out the door and go with somebody else they never, those children never knew. That's hard hearted. Oh, God damn mercy. Amen. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Amen. Oh, feel something for somebody here tonight. Hey, man, your hearts are getting in bad shape. Hey, man, almost said preacher. I might as well say it. Preacher, your heart is getting in bad shape right now. Hey, man, oh, to allow your heart to get hard, to lose that ability. Hey, man, to respond to God. Hey, man, Lord, have mercy, have mercy on me. Amen. Oh, here's what God said. I'll give, I'll give them one heart. I'll put a new spirit within you. I'll take away the stony heart. That stony heart, no impression can be made up on it. Amen. It's very stiff. It resists. It's cold. It's dead. It has no feeling. Amen. It sheds no tear of sympathy. It receives no love. Oh, I have a heart like that tonight. My God. Amen. To be unteachable. Amen. To have no sensitivity. Inflexible. My God. Oh, visit the earth, Lord. Water it with 
it. Amen. Greatly enrich it with the river of God. Amen. Which is full of water. Thou preparest them corn when thou hast provided for it. Thou waterest the ridges thereof abundantly. Thou makest it soft with showers. Amen. You know what's been happened? The Holy Ghost's been falling on us to make our hearts soft with the showers from heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm about to preach my burden away. I've had a tremendous burden for you, but I'm about to preach it away. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me read another verse of Scripture. Amen. Then will I sprinkle, sprinkle with clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your filthiness. From all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. I will take away the only heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will give you a heart of flesh. Hey, man, son, stand up there. Hey, man. Oh, that young man last night, his heart was so hard. Oh, his heart was so hard. Hey, man. Hey, man. Only he knows how hard it was. But that heart was so hard. Hey, man. It was so hard, amen, that he'd practically lost all love for the church, his home, and everybody else. But before the meeting was over, he is loving those brothers. He wanted every sister in here to put their arms around him. Amen, Brother Day, God would give him a soft, tender heart. It's so much better than his son tonight to have that good, tender heart. Oh! Oh! How many come to this meeting? Hey, man, your heart was getting hard. There was something there making your heart hard. Hey, man, after rain of the Holy Ghost, day and night, day and night, to the ridges got soft. You ever travel those blue ridges? Hey, man, see those mountains? Hey, man, after the rain made it soft. Hey, man, it made the soft affairs and they settled down. Hey, man, God's have been making our hearts soft this week. Oh, how soft it is. Hey, man, how soft it is now. Hey, Hallelujah. Hey, man, I'll tell you what we could just about do right now. We could just about say, Preacher, anyone get up here, preach to us as hard as you can. We'd say, Preacher, preach on our hearts are soft. Hey, man, the Spirit of the Lord made our hearts soft. Well, glory. Hey, man, I believe it's soft enough to, where the Spirit of God could fall tonight. Hey, man, and Sister Gay could walk and run. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo! Woo! I don't holler too much. I don't like too many preachers to holler too much while they're preaching to me. But can I just back off a little bit and holler? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank God. Thank God. We come here with wrinkles on our brow. We're going home with smiles in our faces. We come here with doubt in our heart, whether God even you is around here or not. But we're going back to our churches with full assurance that God is in the midst of us. Our hearts have been made soft. Our hearts have been made tender. We have received love from the brethren. Thank God, thank God. Hey, man, you talking about honey. They've been honey poured in our souls. Thank God the honey dew of heaven has fallen us. Glory! <laughs> Won't you worship the Lord? Won't you worship God for what He has done for us and is done for us? Worship Him! Worship Him! Sister Doris, many of you never went to dancing in her life. 
but I'm ready to dance. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What's wrong? Hey, man, my heart's fixed. Oh, God, my heart is fixed. I'll sing and give praise. My heart's fixed. Hallelujah. Hey, man, Psalms 108. Oh, God, my heart's fixed. I'll sing and give praise even with my glory. I put everything I got into it now. My heart's fixed. Hallelujah. Oh, I got one more verse of scripture to read, and I have quit. Hey, man, if you don't help me, I have quit. Do you hear me? I have quit. Hey, man. Hey, man. But if you'll help me, I'll go with you. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey, man. From each smiling young girl to each smiling face of these young boys, from every tender heart of every mother and every father, would you stand your feet right now? Let me read one more verse of Scripture. Amen. Amen. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. My heart is fixed. My heart is fixed. My heart is fixed. Amen. My heart. Brother Neil, I can't dance like you. Hey man, I'm a big old gawky boy, but I can shake my legs. Hallelujah. My heart's fixed. Hallelujah. Sister Connie, my heart's fixed. Hallelujah. Brother Denville, come down here a minute. I want to tell you, brother, hey man, there's no flattery or hypocrisy in this. I have thoroughly enjoyed preaching with you and for you and with you. Thank God because our heart is fixed. Our heart is tender. Oh, to God, we're ready for the coming of the Lord. Hallelujah, we're ready for it. Our heart is fixed. Hallelujah. Come over here, Ben, a man. You ever see anybody smile any prettier than Ben, a man can? His name is Benjamin. Benjamin Simeon Roberts. Hey, man. Hey, man, my baby grandson. Hey, man, ain't much baby there, but a whole lot of man now. Hey, man. He's ten years old. He loves God with every pound that's in him. Hey, man. What a God. Hallelujah. Hey, man. Hey, man. I'll be down there praying. Hey, man, in the room. And I'll feel somebody's hand slip down in my hand while I'm down there praying. No, oh, God. Oh, God, give us some eating, Lord. Oh, God, give us a game. Hallelujah. If we could get the ch- a heart of a baby, of an infant child, if we could get that newborn heart again, brother, we'd not be no uh, trouble to have a revival. If then we could have a revival every time we come together. If we had that, bl- that tender heart, uh, that soft heart, uh, that pure heart, uh, that sanctified heart. Uh, oh, God. Oh, glory! Worship the Lord! Worship God! Worship God! Worship God! Worship God! <laughs> Boy, I felt connected to you all night long while I'm a preacher. <laughs> Worship the Lord! Worship the Lord! Listen, my buddy, Perry, the Lord's been plowing his field for over a year. Thank God for plowing your field. What are you talking about? He just making old Terry's heart so soft. He'll do that to me when I'm preaching the prayer meeting. He'll cry like that while I'm preaching prayer meeting. Hold that thing. I 
got it. to the world. For 51 years, 10 months, 3 weeks, and 1 day, God has kept my heart fixed so that I have never gotten hard and He has kept me from getting bitter. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful Savior. Yes, He is. <laughs> brethren, brethren, preaching brother, turn around there and hug one of them preachers' neck right now. We've had tape meeting here. We've had tape meeting here. I'm as high as I can be. We're no free lovers. You sisters, turn around and greet your sisters. You brothers, greet them. Turn around and greet your brothers. This altar right now. Oh, we fill up this altar. Oh, we fill up this altar. Well, oh, we just fill up this altar. Send a friend, why don't you come with us? Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Brother Roy, heaven knows I love you. <laughs> <laughs> 